What is a canonical URL? It's more than just a fun word to say. We're going to talk about what coming up. Hey Rockstars, welcome back to the Videospot.net. My name is Owen and I am here to guide you through the terrain, the struggle of WordPress, web design, YouTube, and other online marketing skill sets that you must have to make more money online. Today we're going to be talking about a canonical URL. And I, this is a really important topic because I like, I let this go for years and didn't even think about it. And then when I actually took the time to figure out what it is and how valuable it is, it became something that's invaluable, right? So let's talk a little bit about a canonical URL and go to an official definition. A canonical URL is a preferred URL, and Google says it's a good idea to pick one of those URLs as your preferred destination and use 301 redirects to send traffic from the other URLs to your preferred URL. A server-side 301 redirect is the best way to ensure that users and search engines are redirected to the correct page. Now let's try a definition that's not so dull and boring. Here's what happens in WordPress. Every time you create a post or a page, WordPress sets up a permalink, and we're going to talk about that in another video. But a permalink is the URL or the, the web address of that specific page. Now here's the thing. When you add categories or tags to that post or page, WordPress creates a whole slew of other you know, URLs and web addresses to that page. So take a look at this example. On the screen right now, you have two different URLs that both go to the same page. That's a problem. The difference is the pathway the user took to get there. So on one path, the user went to the home page, then the blog page, then the post. The other pathway, maybe they, they found the categories page or they clicked a tag cloud on the website and they, they found the same page, but they found it a different way. That is a problem and here's why. Because Google sees that content as duplicate content on the same website and they devalue both of it. A canonical URL or a preferred URL solves all that. So even when they find your website in two different ways, it's only one URL that appears in the web browser. So let that sink in. It's very, very important. We're going to go to my desktop and I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up using the Yoast SEO plugin. Okay, so here I am on the Video Spot blog page. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on my most recent blog, Five Expert Ways to Make Money on YouTube. And I'm going to show you, see, this is the canonical URL up here, right? You've got, you've got this is the URL. So I'm going to copy that just to show you what it is that we're doing. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go down to the tags down here. And I, you know, there's a bunch of different tags down here. And just to show you kind of how, how this might work, so I'm going to click on the YouTube tab. What happens is I'm coming coming into the archives and I'm, you know, seeing all the other videos that are tagged with this YouTube tag. But look look at what's happening in my address bar. Right? As I'm coming across, it's changing my URL structure. So when I click on this video, it gives me my canonical URL instead of the URL we were building while going through the search function. That's because I have all of that set up. So let's, let me show you how we set it up. First, I'm, gonna just, I'm on the page, I'm gonna click edit post. And once the post loads, I'm just gonna, see I've got some page builders and things in here, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, as, as I kinda click in here, I'm gonna go down to my Yoast section. So let's go down to Yoast. And here we are now, WordPress SEO by Yoast. And then what I'm gonna do is click on advanced and as I scroll down, I'm going to go to the canonical URL, which I just deleted while we were offline here. And then I would paste the canonical URL right in there. Boom. And once that's done, you are going to go ahead and update the page. And you have successfully set your canonical URL and optimized your site for proper website traffic. Okay, so just to recap, a canonical URL is excellent for your SEO because number one, it eliminates duplicate 
content on your page. Number two, it enables you to, you know, let your website kind of run free and know that everyone's going to find that post on the same page, which means that that page will be the one that's getting all your SEO value. So use the Yoast SEO plugin. There's sure, I'm sure there's a ton more. I like to use Yoast that'll help you set up your canonical URLs. And we hope that we've answered all of your canonical URLs. I think I meant to say canonical URL, but I hope we answered all your questions here today. If not, if you have more questions, comments, or feedback for us, please leave that in the comment section below. We do our best to engage with every single video that we produce. And if it's your first time here, I want to urge you to subscribe to our videos. We try to make internet marketing fun. We talk about WordPress. We talk about YouTube. We talk about Facebook ads and pixeling and everything related to internet marketing. So if you're looking to grow your skills and you want to increase your knowledge base, check in with us at least once a week. See what we're up to. We post two videos a week. And if you're looking to get a jump ahead in your website design and converting more leads into sales, check out my free ebook called Website Blueprints, where I share with you all my best converting website designs. You can steal them, you can copy them, you can use them in your sites, you can use them in your client sites. I don't care. I want you to be successful. So I gave you all of my best recipes right there to use. There's even some additional pages on plugins and techniques that I use to help make my websites even more effective. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time at the video spot a dot net